Getting data from a table. Lesson 5.13. One way to solve a word problem is to use a table or chart. We can organize our data, that's our information, into a table to see and compare the amounts. It'll make it easier to see everything. So we have a chart here. This is my favorite animal shelter. It's the Animal Welfare League. It's a no-kill shelter. And this is a table of all the animals that they have that are available to adopt. So we're going to use this table. So let's take a good close look at it first. You can see that they have dogs, cats, birds, guinea pigs, and rabbits. And each animal column type is split from male to female. See? So it shows the male dogs, the female dogs. We don't have our totals yet. That's what we're going to be doing. Okay? I'm going to use the table to do it. The Animal Welfare League in Chicago Ridge, Illinois has many animals available for adoption. We're going to use the table to solve each of these problems. The first one is how many male and female dogs do they have? So we look in the table for dogs we look at male and female, we see 21 and 13, and we're going to add these, all right? We add the ones column first, 3 and 1 more is 4, 2 and 1 is 3. So we can see they have 34 dogs that are available for adoption. We can put that here for the total, because that is the total of the male and female dogs, isn't it? 34. Now let's look at the next one. Number two says, how many male and female cats do they have? We looked on the table for cats. We see male is 28, female is 24. We can find the total. We start with the ones column, 8 plus 4. We start with the larger number 8 and count on the 4, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. We regroup the 1, put the 2 down, and we add the tens column, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And they have 52 cats, male and female. We can write that in here too. Now it says, what is the total amount of dogs and cats that are available for adoption? Now we can use the numbers that we just found, the sums that we just found, to answer the number three. See? We answered number one, so we know how many male and female dogs there are. We answered number two, so we know how many male and female cats there are. Now it's asking us how many dogs and cats total. We take our 34 dogs and our 52 cats, and we add them together. See? And if you look at the table, we're adding 34 and 52 right here. See? 4 plus 2 is 4, 5, 6 for the ones place. And 5 plus 3 is 8 for the tens place. We make sure we label it. There's 86 dogs and cats. We labeled this over here as dogs, and we labeled this one as cats, didn't we? All right. Now let's see what it says next. So we know they have 86 dogs and cats that need a home. How many guinea pigs and rabbits do they have all together? Well, we need to add the male and female guinea pigs, and then we need to add the male and female rabbits, and then we need to add these together, just like we did with the dogs and the cats. So, they have 16 male guinea pigs and 10 female. We add those together for the guinea pigs. We get a 6 and a 2. Now we have to do the rabbits. There's 7 male rabbits and 9 female rabbits. We add the 7 plus 9. We start with the 9 and count on the 7. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. And now, because the question asks how many guinea pigs and rabbits they have all together, this is the guinea pigs, this is the rabbits, okay? We need to add these two together, don't we? Then we'll know how many they have all together. 
So we add the 26 and the 16, all right? 6 plus 6 is 12. That's a double, isn't it? 1, 2, 3, 4. We know they have 42 guinea pigs and rabbits that are available for adoption. And we can put our guinea pig and rabbit totals into the table, can't we? We know there's 26 guinea pigs. That's the 16 plus 10. We know there was 16 male and female rabbits. We can put that here. Okay. So now we've got all the totals. And see, they have four birds that was already there. They have parakeets. I think they might even have a parrot. So the last question says, how many animals are available for adoption in all? Well, we need to take our totals. We could start from scratch and total the dogs and cats with the birds, the guinea pigs, and the rabbits, but we already totaled dogs and cats. Total dogs and cats was 86. So we put the 86 here for the dogs and cats. Birds, there's four birds. We put the four here. And we counted how many guinea pigs and rabbits all together. There were 42. We already added this. So now we can add the 42, and now we can add three numbers. We look for friendly numbers that might equal 10, and we see 6 and 4 equals 10. So we have 10, 11, 12. We regroup the 1, put the 2 down. Now we add the tens column, 8, 9, and 4. So we have 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. They have 132 animals that are looking for a home. All right? So you can use a table to see information to compare it and to add sums. All right? You can use information that you found to answer another question, like we did with the dogs and the cats, and we did with the totals. We used the information we found here, didn't we? All right, we're almost done with Chapter 5. We're going to continue on with one more video for Chapter 5, and I'll see you there. Bye.